What if I tell you that you can have your LAMP stack up and running on your local environment with just four commands? Yes, you need to just type four commands into your terminal and that will get your Docker set up with Apache, PHP 7, MySQL Server, PHP MyAdmin, and you can have some test scripts which actually test the MySQL connection for you. Are you excited? Okay, let me tell you how you can do it really straightforward with just four commands. Okay, let's get started. Right, so the first thing is you have to create a folder where you would like your Docker to be um, cre creating the files and uh, having all the uh, repositories pulled up. So I've created this www folder in my documents uh, directory. Now, what I have to do is I have to go to my terminal and just so that you know there is no, uh, no containers running right now. I'll say this and you can see there is no containers at the moment, no image and nothing is running. Right. Okay. So I will go to my uh, terminal and then I will go to this location. There we go. Now, as I am inside this location, I would go back to my browser and open up this particular repository. This is basically a LAMP stack built with Docker Compose and it has everything you need for your local environment. So PHP, Apache, MySQL, PHP admin and Redis. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to first clone the Git repository with this command. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste. By the way, you need to have Git set up on your environment and in order to check if you have Git on your uh, machine or not, what you could do is you just go on your terminal and then type Git and it tells you if it is already installed or, is installed or not, okay? So I'm gonna put my uh, Git command, which I just copied and then clone this directory, right? Now it is cloned. If I go back to my folder here, I can see this Docker Compose LAMP uh, directory here and all the files has been pulled up. Now, what I do have, uh, what I do want to do here is I want to have this open in my bracket. So I will open the bracket and put it here. And this will enable me to create or uh, change some config files easily. Okay, so the next step is you have to go inside the subdirectory, which we have just seen. Once you are inside the subdirectory, you need to copy the sample environment to the environment file. There we go, we have copied it. So now when I go to my uh, sample environment file here, I can see that I have a project name called lamp. Uh, I also have all the settings done for me for PHP version, MySQL and other port related information here. So I have to do nothing at all. It is all provided to me. Okay. So that after that, I'll go back and I will just copy the Docker compose up and the command here and I'll just put it there. Simple. When I press enter, it will get all the repositories and then uh, configure them and run them as Docker does. Now, it was so simple for me because I have already done it before and my cache already had all these files. But when you do it first time, it will take a while to actually pull all the required code and run it in the Docker. So just to check if it is running, Here we go. I've got four different containers running here. One is PHP MyAdmin, LAMP web server, LAMP database, and Redis latest. Okay, so let's go to um, a different tab and run 
local host. There we go. We have a LAMP stack up and running within few minutes with all these dependencies. So if I click on the PHP info, it shows me all the information I need to know about my installation. If I go and click on PHP my admin, there is my database here, which I can use. I can also verify that if my MySQLi connection is working, yes, success, a proper connection to MySQL was made. The Docker database is great. Host information database via TCP IP. And the last is test TV connection with PDO. And that's also working really good. Now, in order to test if my script is working or not, I go back here and this, this WW folder is not my root folder. It's inside the Docker Compose LAMP folder. So it's there. So what I'll do is I'll create a new folder in it called tab. And then inside this folder, I'll create another file and I'll just put a simple hello world code here I'll just use a h1 tag save it and then I'll go here and type app and there we go we got it so guys just with the help of this amazing uh, Git repository, we have created our LAMP stack local uh, development environment with following with just four simple commands on terminal, right? If you have any other questions, uh, please put it in the comment box. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Cheers.